Buy that went up in value. I think you're too young. Number five. If I'm right, five, four, three, two, one. Number five. WrestleMania 2000. First ever two disc DVD set ever in history of WWF slash E. Uh, one of the most over um, looked WrestleManias ever, in my opinion. I love this WrestleMania. Yes, there were some shit matches, but you had that fucking awesome TLC match. You had the uh, amazing uh, <coughs> triple threat match. I thought that one with Angle, Benoit, and Jericho in those two matches for the European and Intercontinental title with Jericho walking away with the European title and Benoit walking away with the Intercontinental title was fucking fantastic. And then you got the main event, which I like the main event. I know a lot of people think that it's kind of too many people are in there, but I liked it. I mean, the heel went over, Triple H retained the title, and God, man, that was the first time in history that they ever had the heel walk out as the champion. And walk in as the champion and walk out as the champion. They were pissed. And Jim and I got um, belts in the back of the head with the battery. It's probably what he needed anyways. Coming in at number four. This is a very, very uh, hard DVD to find. And if you do find it, you're probably going to pay a lot of money for it. I got, I paid this, I paid 32 for this. I actually think I got a steal. Best of WWF's viewer's choice. Um, this was uh, a UK and a Canadian exclusive only. This was never, ever released in the United States. Never, ever released here. I had to get this all the way from the UK. Uh, I, didn't, I haven't even seen any Canada versions of this in like probably a year on eBay. Uh, this is definitely a hard one to get. And this is also the lightest DVD case I have ever held in my life. This thing is so light. I just had to point that out there. Number three. Of course, WrestleMania 17 is going to be a lot of money. Now, the, the least I've seen this go for is 40 bucks. The least I've seen this go for is 40 bucks. I have seen disc one go for 25, but that doesn't include disc two. I mean, WrestleMania uh, 17, the greatest WrestleMania of all time, in my opinion. I fucking love this show, man. It was fucking great. Um, now, <laughs> uh,. Hang on one second. Uh, shit. Uh, was that a crack in the fucking DVD? Sorry, I'm just... I didn't know if I saw a little crack or not. Um, this is a pretty old DVD, so... Um, yeah, but it, it looks fine. I mean, I just watched this not that long ago, so... Um, it, should be, it should be just fine. Now... Uh, Wrestling Rampage. You're probably wondering how much money. I know I might have actually told you on uh, Facebook Live, um, you know, private chat. But here's how much money I paid for to get you guys WrestleMania 17. $12.25. Now, you're probably wondering how the fuck did you pay $12.25 for WrestleMania 17. I had $75 of a gift card that... I just had it in that sock drawer right there. I never touched it for two years. And I said, you know what? I'm going to get them WrestleMania 17. And that's what I did. Uh, I just, I, I'm noticing for the first time that there's a little, uh, little uh, crease in the packaging. Hopefully that's not the actual uh, thing on the inside. Um, hopefully that's just the outside packaging. Um, but yeah, you're definitely going to have to pay a big penny for this one big penny okay definitely big penny for that one number two vengeance 2002 a lot of money man but i got a steal i don't know how i got a steal on so many of these rare hard expensive dvds to find but i research my ass off i go on ebay i go on uh amazon i go through it oh shit this popped out. Oh, thank, thank God. It's in good shape. All right, good. Um, that scared me. <laughs> uh, hopefully, Judgment Day will not be popping out as well. 
Oh, shit, I gave away what number one was. Anyway, whatever. You, I'm pretty sure a lot of you knew that that was going to be number one. Anyways, um, back to Vengeance 2002. Um, yeah, very expensive DVD. Now, here's why. I've said this before, but I'll say it again. This one and the other one, which you, you already know about, was a magazine exclusive. This did not come out to the public. It was not like um, a... Uh, a uh, fucking, uh, why does that keep on happening? Here, let me see if I can open this without that happening. There we go. Okay, I, I just, I don't know what the deal on that was, but, um, yeah. Alright, that's fine. I mean, it's, it, it, it came with a couple scratches, but, um, it's nothing that looks too bad. I mean, it's got a couple of blemishes, but not bad. Um... Yeah, this was a magazine exclusive back then, so you had to order through the shop zone to get this, and this is the Canadian version, which is a little bit rest, less uh, rare. The U.S. version is the one that's more money. And then, you, I gave it away, uh, Judgment Day 2002, probably the most expensive DVD along with Raw Homecoming. Uh, this one, man, this one, this one's a lot of money. Now... I actually forgot to say, I paid $30 for Vengeance 2002, 30 bucks, and I paid 45 for Judgment Day 2002. Now, I know that um, I've, I've seen this one on its own, not, 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 not brand new, nothing, 130 bucks. Fucking crazy, man. Fucking crazy. So, yeah, Judgment Day 2002. One of the most expensive DVDs to get out there. I got it for about half the price. Not maybe even like I got it for like seventy-five dollars off, forty-five bucks. A lot of people are gonna say it's expensive, but for this, but for this, that's so inexpensive compared to what other options there are. So number one, Judgment Day two thousand two. I'm sorry, I gotta take a look at Vengeance 2002 one more time. Uh, like I said, I'm a freak uh, when it comes to making sure my DVDs are as perfect as possible. Um, yeah, it's got some, you know, fucking scratches, whatever. I would rather have Vengeance 2002 at it, or um, rather than Judgment Day, have to suffer through a little bit of blemishes. Um, it just, it is what it is. Um, so number two is uh, Vengeance 2002. Number three, and I have to check this one out again, is uh, WrestleMania 17. Um, yeah. WrestleMania 17. In the Houston Astrodome in Houston, Texas. 67,000 fans plus 67,000 plus fans fucking going crazy in the Astrodome. Fucking crazy. Yeah. All right. Sorry, this is one of my bad habits. I apologize that I'm going to have to make you guys suffer through and <coughs> deal with this. Um... All right, good. It's just one of my bad habits. Anyways, uh, so number three is WrestleMania 17. Number four the best of WWF 2001 viewer's choice number 5 WrestleMania 2000 number 6 Chris Benoit Hard Knocks Chris Benoit story uh, uh <clears throat> number 7 Royal Rumble 2001 number 8 or maybe you know what maybe the WrestleMania set uh was in there somewhere I don't remember I I won't even say up the list Royal Rumble 2000 WrestleMania 18 or X8 however you want to say it uh, Royal Rumble 2002, WrestleMania 15, Undertaker, This Is My Yard, Ric Flair, The Ultimate Collection, Rowdy Piper, Born the Controversy, Viva La Raza, Legacy of Eddie Guerrero, which is just a match compilation, basically, Hell in a Cell, and Volume 2 of the SummerSlam Anthology. All right, I'm out of here. Peace.